Singapore Math or Singapore Maths. What is Singapore Maths? Singapore Maths is the way we teach mathematics to children in Singapore in the way that we help every child succeed. Even the struggling learners will learn enough to progress to the next stage. The average learners will perform at a high level and the advanced learners will be challenged. Singapore Maths to the students is a way of learning that allow every single one to learn mathematics well. To the teachers, it's a way of teaching mathematics such that they do not need to have specialist knowledge to be able to do the job. That is because there are materials, including textbooks, that will allow them to learn the mathematics that they need to teach. To the systems or to the schools, Singapore mathematics is a way to help increase the level of proficiency of the children. That, in brief, is what Singapore mathematics is all about. In the Singapore mathematics curriculum, mathematics is defined as, and I quote, an excellent vehicle for the development and improvement of a person's intellectual competence, unquote. You notice the metaphor for mathematics is that it is a vehicle. It is not a destination. In a Singapore mathematics curriculum, the focus is on problem solving, thinking, 21st century competencies. The mathematics itself is merely a platform, a vehicle, a tool, a means for children to become more intelligent. That is the focus of mathematics in a Singapore curriculum. What is problem solving? A teacher may give students a spinner such as this and require them to spin four digits, three, two, two, and six. The teacher asks the students to make two two-digit numbers so that the sum is as large as possible. Some students may be of the opinion that they should make the largest possible number first and get 63, 22. Other students may disagree, saying that 60-something and 30-something will give a larger sum. And they may argue that 62 and 32 would result in a larger sum. So this is an example of a problem-solving activity involving addition. A little bit of history of Singapore mathematics. In the 1980s, the Ministry of Education Singapore decided to change our textbooks. The present-day mathematics textbooks came from the series which was developed in the 1980s called Primary Mathematics. By 1992, based on international research, it has become clear that problem solving must become the focus of school mathematics. As a result, in 1992, the problem-solving curriculum was introduced to primary one or grade one to all the schools in Singapore. This is followed up in 1997 with the Thinking Schools Learning Nation initiative, where all school subjects, including mathematics, are used as a basis for development of thinking. Why Singapore mathematics has attracted international interest? The way we teach mathematics in Singapore the textbooks that we use has allowed the teachers to teach mathematics in a certain way and the concrete materials has allowed children to learn mathematics in a certain way. This way of teaching mathematics has shown that many children will be able to learn mathematics well. This is supported by findings in international benchmarking studies. For example, Singapore has performed consistently well in all the previous teams' studies. In particular, in teams 2007, about 40% of Singapore 4th graders and 8th graders reached the advanced international benchmark. In comparison, the international mean was less than 10%. In particular, it was 2% for grade 8 and 5% for grade 4. Similarly, in PISA 2009, the proportion of Singapore students, 15-year-olds, who managed to reach the two highest proficiency level is way above the international average.